Hello friends, family, and internet strangers! Stephanie here with another What's For Dinner video. This week these meals are super simple, and by that I mean no fuss, pretty basic, easy, budget-friendly meals that are super convenient when you are really busy. First up, this one is super simple, rotini with meat sauce and a salad and some garlic bread. I got this three pound thing of 73% lean ground beef for $5 over the Thanksgiving weekend as a Black Friday weekend deal. So only $5 for that nice big package. So even though I know that was a really long time ago, uh, these meals that I'm showing in this particular video are from the end of November and the beginning of December because I was going through my camera this weekend and realized that there's a whole bunch of stuff that I planned on posting in December but changed course and these never got shown. So this week and next week are going to be meals that were a few weeks ago but they're still good for any time of year, so they are still delicious and still some great dinner ideas for you. So this one, I wanted to use up some of this beef and then the rest of it ended up going in the freezer in small individual portions. Because I cook for one person, I do not need full one pound packages of meat the way most of them come, so I froze mine in small, probably half pound portions so I got a good deal of meals out of that big package. So once my meat is cooked, I drain it. I added some garlic to it. I added some Italian seasoning. And now for my sauce. I do have a video about how I make my homemade spaghetti sauce. It is a family recipe that we have been making my entire life. I make it in large batches and put it in the freezer. So that I had just thawed out of the freezer. I can also use it straight from frozen and just defrost it in the pan. That also works if you're in a pinch and you don't know what to make for dinner and you have some of that in the freezer. So most of the time I do this with meatballs, but since I had that ground beef, I just stir that in with it and then add my pasta. For this pasta, I used a veggie rotini from Barilla. Here is my final product, and I served this with a Caesar salad. This was one of those chopped kits, and I really like chopped salads, so this turned out well. I also had gotten some garlic bread, so I had thrown that in the oven, and here is my plate for this night. Now I still had some of this garlic bread left, so I had some the next night, along with some chicken, veggies, and some brown rice. So lately, because of the price of meat going up, I go to the grocery store on the way home from work some nights, just look and see if they have meat with a reduced sticker that's going to go bad in a few days and I can make it that night. This particular night they did not have anything that was reduced, but I did see this individual portion of chicken and I thought that would be easy and it was relatively inexpensive, it was less than $4. So I had the directions right on the packaging, I stuffed it right in the oven and served it up with a little bit of frozen broccoli that I had put some butter and garlic salt on, that steam in the bag kind, and then chopped up my chicken. And then I had some brown rice as well. I had those minute rices, the ones where it's an individual serving and you pop it in the microwave for a minute. So I decided to use that along with this and to give it a little flavor. I dumped it right into my juices from the chicken, right from that little pan that it came in, and was able to get all of that nice garlic butter that was still in the pan and some of that chicken flavor right into my rice, and then I just plated that up with my veggies, my garlic bread, and my chicken, and this was a really delicious meal, and it was really fast. That chicken, seriously, all I had to do was take the plastic wrap off and put it in the oven for I think it was 20 minutes, flip it over and then 10 minutes. But again, if you do try that kind, it's right on the packaging, all of the instructions. So this was simple and that was kind of what I was going for at that point in time. Looking back, this was a really good one. I need to look for that chicken again. Now next up, I've got something a little bit different. This is a lunch that I made on one of my days off. I like to do liner, I like to do a nicer lunch and a smaller dinner on my days off. 
And I had this, this one I did get reduced at the store right after Thanksgiving, these pre-made mashed potatoes from Home Chef. So I decided to do some potato pancakes with them. And I just had some of the potatoes. I put in garlic salt, pepper, and onion powder, and a little bit of flour, and then mixed that up as well as an egg to use as a binding agent, and gave that a good stir. And then once it was all combined, this is what it looked like. It essentially still looked like a bowl of mashed potatoes. And then I put it in a pan. I put them in little flat round discs. And I just used avocado oil because it's what I had on hand, but you can use different oil for this as well. Vegetable oil probably would have worked well, but I had avocado. And then I just cooked it until it was brown on both sides and served it up with a little bit of sour cream and a little bit of applesauce so I could switch up what I like to dip these in because I like either. Next up, I've got ham slice with some mashed sweet potatoes. I had seen, I think it was Megan over at Megan's Kitchen make a ham slice recently, and it made me really crave that. And so I bought one when I saw them at the store, but I did it differently than she did. This is how my family has always done it. When I was growing up, we always had ham steak with pineapple and maraschino cherries. The one difference here is that we normally use pineapple slices, but I had leftover crushed pineapple, so using what I have. Next up, I've got some mashed potatoes, mashed sweet potatoes, that is. I do these in the Instant Pot. I had just cubed them up and put some corruption seasoning on them. I will have corruption seasoning linked down below, as I always do from one of my road trip videos, and I'll have the road trip video about my corruption seasoning in there as well, but I simply put these in the Instant Pot, mashed them up with some cinnamon, butter, and heavy whipping cream. After 20 minutes in the oven, this is what my ham steak looks like. And again, some more of that frozen broccoli with garlic salt and butter on it. Next up, this one is really easy. This is frozen pizza and a salad. Now, I sometimes go through a salad phase. It doesn't happen often, but I have to take full advantage of it when it does because I am not a huge salad person, but I do love chopped salads. And luckily they were on sale at this point in time when I just was really wanting all of these chopped salads. So the best way to make these I have found is to get a large bowl and then pour all the ingredients in and put a top on it and shake it. And it's just delicious because you get all of that dressing right in with all of the small ingredients. I also added some little fried onions to this and that was really good. And I had been craving these Totino's party pizzas. So I went to the store, got one of those, sliced it up, and then served it with my salad. And these are just some really, really easy meal ideas. It does not have to be complicated especially if you are busy, keep it simple. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and if you did, I hope you'll consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below with what some of your favorite easy, no fuss, go-to meals are for weeknights. I'd love to hear your ideas.